I just love to taste whiskeys live in front of the camera and have you experience my my experiencing my reviewing this whiskey. Hi, Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. And today I have the third video about Temple Bar. I've done the traditional Irish blend, I've done the 10 year old, and today it's going to be the 12 year old. 40% single malt whiskey, distilled either November 2003 or 2004, I've seen both online. It was filled in the bottles 2016. This is actually the fourth product from uh, Temple Bar. First you had, as I said, the um, traditional Irish blend, 10 year old, 15 year old, and now the 12 year old. I think I know why the 12 year old came later. So, um, we don't know what distillery it's from. I think it's gonna be Bush Mills. It's three triple distilled. It could also be Middleton, Middleton, where Jameson comes from. It's not Cooley. So um, there's only one company that imports it into Germany. That is Irish Whiskies with K-E-Y-S at the end, dot D-E. And um, I had a 12-year-old already. It was the cast strength. This was fantastic. Very, very, very good. If you're lucky, I'm going to actually... <laughs> Do the fourth video with this um, of the series of the Temple Bar. That, that would be the fifth video, actually. So the normal, the 10, the 12, the 15, and then the cast strength. Um, and you can actually hear for yourself how I experience that. Now, let's see what the nose says. Ooh, the nose is actually very, very good. Tom, clearly the owner of Temple Bar in the Temple Bar district in Dublin. If you haven't seen my other, other videos, please go back. Watch the first one and the 10-year-old. He wanted to revive the typical Irish tradition of having a so-called house whiskey. You just buy some barrels from a distillery. You put them down in your cellar or your basement, as we say in the States. And then you just let them mature and then you sell them to your customers. Just like a good Italian um, restaurant has its house wine. A good pub in Ireland would have its house whiskey. Well, that's what he did. 2005, he went about buying a lot of different casks, put them down in the cellar, waited the 10 years until 2015, and started selling them as the traditional Irish blend, as the 10-year-old, and this was a little bit older, and so 2016, he finally did it. The nose is very typical for Ireland. I've had quite a few different Irish whiskies, and it's a good single malt Irish whiskey, important. We have um, the Irish whiskey. Let's do a little history lesson for a moment. Um, I need to have the right bottle, excuse me. <clears throat> Exactly the wrong bottle. So there's a project from the Irish distillers, Jameson, Middleton, and they did the so-called Method and Madness. These bottles were fantastic, by the way. They weren't even in Germany. I had to buy them in Scotland and uh, in, in the UK and send them over to Germany. Method of Madness, single grain. Single grain means that it's one single type of grain. It could be corn, it could be wheat, it could be rye, and often it is mar barley. In Ireland, it would be then um, not non-malted barley. So that's one type of whiskey that they produce in Ireland. And often with blends, you mix 80% of the grain, which gives it a certain feeling, and 20% of the, and that would be here, the single malt. Single malt means that it's 100% barley, which is malted. Malted means you actually wet it a little bit. You roll, you put out the barley on an area, you put a little bit of water on there, it starts to germinate and the little tiny sprouts come up and you stop the germination because there's more starches and more sugar in it and that makes a better um, mash for the mash bill. And or you also have the very, very interesting Irish-only 
single pot still. The single pot still is with malted and unmalted bar barley in a pot still, a copper pot still, not a column still, pot still whiskey. Now, what you have here, and that's what I'm getting to, this is a single malt, which means there is no unmalted barley, it's just malted barley. And since it's also here, it's a pot still. Column still means it runs continuously and almost all the bourbon, if you look at James, um, Jim Beam or Maker's Mark or Jack Daniels or whatever else, there's almost always a column still. That was a process which makes it easy to make the, the alcohol uh, even up to a very, very high level of over 80%. Pot still means you have this big copper part, pots, you know those from, the, from, I, from Scotland. And each and every time you put in the mash bill, you cook it, you distill it, which means the alcohol evaporates faster than the water. And then you have to take out all the what's the rest, all that um, vort, I think it's called actually also in English. And you dry it and you use it as um, animal feed. But it's a process which means you have to actually physically take out and it's batch for batch for batch for batch. This is pot still single malt whiskey. So it's not run through a column still, it's actually a pot still. And that does make it special. And that's a very, very typical smell that you have in your nose, which is very fruity. I explained it as such. I explained it as a Hawaiian 5-0. Um, not the TV show, but a Hawaiian a tropical punch. Exactly, not Hawaii 5-0, Hawaiian Tropical Punch. So as a child I had in the States, Hawaiian Tropical Punch. There's a lot of watermelon, there's a little pineapple, there might be a little mango in there. There's um, maybe a little coconut and so on. But there's a lot of watermelon. And this is like a watermelon with anus, anise. Um, anise is what you have in ouzo. And then you have the barley. And this is basically what I have on my nose. I like it. It's very, very good. Let's see if the taste is even half as good as the smell. I hope so. Oh, oh, this is a shame. Now, I mentioned this in the other video with a 10-year-old. It really is a shame. The barrels. First fill, bourbon barrels mean they were used in the States, and they were used a second time in Ireland. This was filled in ex-bourbon barrels, which means it's been used at least three times, maybe even four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's no rule in Ireland or in Scotland, which forbids using the barrels. Again, actually, that's what they do. If you go to Glen Farkless, you have their port, I'm sorry, their sherry, and some of these barrels have been in use for over 90 years. Amazing. And what I really have in the mouth is it comes into the mouth in a very, very sweet, nice, barley type of woody with a little bit of alcohol. And as I said before, the Hawaiian tropical fruit was there. But then the alcohol was a little bit there, and then the wood, the bad wood, started coming. And out. I still taste the bad wood. My conspiracy theory is this is the fourth edition of Temple Bar. They had the blended, the 10 and the 15 year old. I think that when they tasted the 10 year old, they were like, oh, wait, it's going to be better. And they have the 15-year-old, which hopefully will be better. I'm going to taste that in the next video. And they said, whoops, the wood, it's turning. It's reached the tipping point. And the tipping point with wood is really, really important. If you have a, a bourbon that's been in the wood too long, it dominates. It becomes very, very, very bitter. And this isn't just bitter, this is as if, I'm sorry, as if the wood started a little bit too foul. 
and I had it with a quiet man, a very nice whiskey. Also, the single cask was so bad and the normal was so good. And this just kind of... Uh, they would have waited another three years to use this for the 15-year-old. No one, at least I, Whiskey Jason, would have said, uh-uh, not my stuff. And so they saved what they could save and said, oh, let's have a special edition 12-year-old. And that's what we have. And the nose is very, very fine, very, very nice. And the mouth... Mm. And then really towards the end, all of this wood, all this bitter, all this, I'm going to use the word nastiness, just takes over. And they saved what was to be saved. I'm sorry, people. I cannot say that this is good. This is a D plus. Now, 79 euros for this stuff, a D minus. I would like to give it an F, but I'm not going to be that critical at the moment. This is not my stuff. Oh, I'm so sorry. But I still am hoping that the Temple Bar 15-year-old will be the savior, will be the, the crowning example of what Irish whiskey can be. I don't know. I haven't tasted it. What I do is actually, and this is the last statement I'm going to give before I end this video, is I taste these live. I don't try them before. I just open them up, pour them in, and start talking. There's always a sheet, and on this sheet I have basic information about facts, figures, and so on. Where did it come from, how old it is, just facts and figures. But I just avoid the tasting notes because I don't want to hear, I don't want to see what the other people are talking about. I want to have my own experience live in front of the camera. Now what I do do, unfortunately, is I do the video in German first. So I actually have had this before. It was 12 minutes ago, but I have had it, and so I knew what I was expecting. But still, that was just, even in German, it was just like, oh, why, why? I had high, such high expectations. And that's what I love to do. I just love to taste whiskeys live in front of the camera and have you experience my, my experiencing, my reviewing this whiskey. Now, other people do take notes. Other people do let it stand or let it sit for maybe 30 minutes and try different variations and put a little bit of water in there. And then, then they review it online. Not my thing. What I do is every single day, at least for the last nine months, I think, I've put up a, a video online in German. And now I'm doing these in English on top of that because I want to taste the whiskey world. All right, so that's a little bit of the explanation of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and why this Temple Bar 12-year-old is not living up to the expectations I had for it. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. The 15-year-old should be coming in a few days. Bye-bye.